Good morning, Sagittarius. Welcome back to Path of Enlightenment Tarot. For those of you returning to the channel, welcome back. And for those of you who are new, welcome. I am Nicole uh, Sag. This is your August 2024 reading. This will be your sun, moon, rising, uh, cross-watcher. If that's you, welcome to the channel as well. Remember, the messages could be for you or for the cross-watcher or decipher accordingly. Saggy, um, quick thank you to everybody who's liked, shared, subscribed, commented, those who have donated to the channel, per booked personal readings. If you are interested in those, those are open and available. That information can be found in the description box below as well as the about section of the page. Sorry for the stipples, my ear just clogged up again. We finally got rain here and it's been like a drought. It's been awful. I don't even know why I'm having this conversation with you, but we'll see why this is coming up. Um, but the rain always makes my sinuses flare. So, all right, Sag, let's get right to your reading now that I've had that little conversation with you all. I hope you guys are doing well and fantastic. Um, let's, I don't know, let's just jump into it, see what's going on. All right, Sag, what is going on? Spirit for Sag, August 2024. Harmony? What is this? What is this? Harmony wounds, reconciliation with the past. I'm going to tell you, Sag, um, that to me does not feel like necessarily reconciling with someone from the past. This is a reconciliation within the self of the past altogether. Um, Spirit says some of this is, or for some of you, this is a good thing. For others of you, um, maybe not so much. And I'm going to say to you like this, uh, Forgiveness comes in multiple forms, and this forgiveness uh, is not for the purpose of allowing someone to take advantage of you again. I'm going to tell you that. I think there are some of you who are deciphering the difference. Others of you have a little more learning to do, and others of you are breaking the barrier and getting past it, forgiving, and then <clears throat> um, placing appropriate boundaries. So... Uh, that's that. Okay. So for Sag, Spirit, August 2024, obedience, um, rules, restrictions, governing authorities, who says you can do what, how they say you can do it, the way you're viewing it, um, playing by the rules. This could be a um, conforming in some way as well. Um, but also for some of you needing that boundary, needing the balance. Um, putting something from the past to bed, hope in the fledgling comes out sideways. So this is kind of, I'm going to, I'm going to call this a crossover is what I'm hearing from spirit. 10, um, again, some of you are putting hope and faith into new beginnings. Others of you are also trying to put yourself first. So there could be a little bit of an influx of how you do this. I don't know, my stomach, I'm going to, as soon as, if I can talk, as soon as I sat down to do your reading, my stomach got funky, like upset. Um, maybe some of you are having some stomach issues right now. Uh, make sure you're eating healthy and accordingly. Uh, I don't know. They're saying drink milk to coat the stomach. So I don't know if you, acid or something going on. I have no idea. So side note there. And P.S. I'm not a doctor. So there's that disclaimer. Uh, trapped in wishing. Um, there's a theme. <laughs> there's a theme. I did Scorpio's read. I just did Cancer's read. Now you're reading. Uh, the theme around if we could change things, no spirit, um, gee, would they be different? I, I don't know why that seems to be a theme. Like it just keeps coming in. It's like repetitive here with all of the readings. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. Sag, August, 2014. I, I was going to say, you know, 2024. Um, Spirit says 2014. So go back 10 years, Sag. What the hell was going on 10 years ago? Um, because at that point, I feel like you thought you had control over many things in your life. Uh, there's, again, a theme around things coming up from the past. And, of course, Mercury Retrograde is pre-shadow. We're getting ready to head into that in a couple of days. And... Um, it's going to bring things up. I feel like you're needing to pause and reflect and then move forward and pause and reflect and move forward. 
Some of you, I think back in that 2014 era, um, felt very confident, very in control, like you had grips on certain things. Um, now you may be encountering a similar situation that you want to master control and tame. Um, are you, I mean, are you repeating a cycle? Maybe a little bit. Are you afraid you're repeating a cycle? Um, because I'm hearing never again. I think, Sag, for some of you, uh, these new encounters, Spirit is calling it, you're not repeating a pattern. It may feel similar in some ways, which may scare the living shit out of you. For others of you, if you look back, I'm going to say to 2014 in your partnerships, and compared to the partnerships you have now, Spirit is saying, are you dealing with the same personality dynamic? So it's like you're going to be able to tell, gut-wise, um, if you're dealing with the right people. Partnerships. Partnerships, partnerships. I don't know what's going on in the astrology, how that all works. I'm not positive. But this is very heavy on the partnership aspect. Um... I do think some of you are gaining specific control of your lives. Uh, others of you, you may be leaning too much into that control aspect. Um, all right, what is this obedience about, Spirit? What is this obedience about for Sag? So just like this pause, this, this pause energy, this confusion energy, this fear energy, this inflamed energy that comes in with this reading for some reason. And I'm going to tell you... Spirit is saying this is only for the next two weeks. So we'll see. We'll see. Two weeks. Uh, bustling Hub Nightclub. Some of you could be getting out there being social, going to parties, weddings, um, events, uh, invites. Uh, it feels busy. You feel busy. Um, I want to say to you, make sure that busyness is not a distraction rendezvous point um meeting places destiny unfolds convergence um i think you're walking out of a tight space of um strict restrictions is what i'm hearing breezy gust windswept region rolling winds airy expanse dancing leaves with arena at the bottom competitive um Sag, I feel like this is bringing up some kind of like inner childhood wound. It repeated in adulthood. And now um, learning how to pull yourself out of that or needing to pull yourself out of that. Um, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of drive in this reading, but not... How do I put this? It's kind of stumping me here, Sag. Um, it gives me that whirlwind feeling. Like everything is good and hot and fantastic and lovely and you're feeling this vibe. But then it feels dark. It feels like head hung low. What did I do? Um, you know, it's like competing for somebody's affection um feeling like you need again to have control over a stance a winning position in something here um i want to say to you is that healthy uh i <laughs> sad if you're trying to compete with another person yourself um for for a gain in some way, I mean, that's why we compete. We want to gain, you know, some leverage there. Um, I almost feel like the past is, you're almost competing with the past. Like, whatever you're doing is like, I'm going to do this better. I'm not going to do it the same old way. Don't let a stubborn attitude um, be your downfall. Um, 
like if you're trying to do better on something or with something, um, are you com are you competing? It's, it's like I'm trying to find the best way to put this is it's like going through rehab, right? Like doing better today than I did yesterday. Um, trying to hold grip on something, and I feel like that something is yourself. Um, this is a, a twisted sort of energy here, Sagittarius. Um, it's like you find something about someone, a place, whatever this is for you, and that's what you stick to. It's like that's that becomes your motivating factor to make something happen or com to compete with a situation. And this situation could go back to 2014. So let's just say as an example, you were in a relationship in 2014, you knew things were off, um, you know, eventually it comes to an end, come to, you know, present day, and now you're involved in something else again, uh, with somebody new, and the memories or the situations from the past are something that you're trying to do better at. Um, but it's like, you're trying to make yourself be more 11 11 on the clock there um like you're not giving yourself the grace to just be human i hope i hope the way i'm explaining that makes sense um like you're you're fighting with the dis spirit says the deception of the past maybe an illusionary energy that you once lived in um you know you conformed to something you became somebody that you really weren't it was that lower vibrational self and now it's like you don't want to do it the same way but there's something about the attitude Nia spirit says they need an attitude adjustment um that is like I, i'm gonna compete to do it better like um that's just well as an example right terrible i don't know terrible example or not but Maybe your first wedding, right? Maybe you got engaged, you got married, and your first uh, engagement ring that you bought your significant other was $5,000. Um, this time around, you're getting ready to get married. You're like, I'm going to do better. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend $10,000 on, on that engagement ring. Um, what the hell does that have to do with anything? It's like you're, you're focused on endeavors that are really meaningless in a sense, um, or you're fighting with the past to do better than before but in areas that don't matter um it's like you're trying to prove something to yourself sag and you're getting caught up in in a particular thought or feeling or a restriction from before as i said the engagement ring shopping mall variety of stores shopping center birthplace of dreams pursuit of goals belief and possibility but this one here comes out in the reverse um you're only, to me, again, that variety in the reverse is a single energy. It is only one way of doing things or one place to go. Um, stop going, this is the only way. This is the only kind of uh, avenue I see a relationship going. This is the only job that I could ever do. This is the only place I'll ever live. Whatever restriction um, you're putting on things, Stop it. Sag, I feel like a lot of the times in your readings, I spend a lot of time kind of thumping on you in some way. Um, but you're going to block your dreams. You're going to block that pursuit, even though you think you're making forward progress by um, seeing it in one way. Ultimately, you're blocking it. When these cards, the fledging and the hope come out sideways that tells me there's an issue with that right just in general there's an issue it's coming out sideways it's not in the upright it's not in the reverse it's like i'm stuck somewhere in the in between of this like i do think you have a recognition to the fact that something needs to be done differently this time around but part of this is you losing a stubborn attitude associated with the end goal like this is the only way this could happen i mean they're taking me to like google maps think about google maps right when you type in an address, it will show you, you know, maybe routes where there's tolls. Maybe there's a route to take the long way around. Maybe there's a route for, you know, whatever. They'll show you two or three different routes to get somewhere. Here's the one with the tolls. Here's the one with the longest time. You're going, well, I know Route 50. I don't know. 
this is the only way that I can go from this city to that city is this way. Even though there's construction, even though there's tolls, even though there's this and that, it's like, this is the only way. And you're not looking at that B and C option of, yeah, you might go this way and it might take a little bit of a longer way around, but you're going to get to see something new. You're going to get to do something differently. You can still have your end goal, but especially if you have it tied to somebody else, you must remember that they are on their own path. You have to know that they have a way that they need to get to where they're, they're going to have their own set of circumstances, their own soul path and journey to, to get there. There's work that you, that has to be done. It's not just getting from point A to point B. It's seeing the alternative routes in something and getting out of your own way to allow it to happen because there's something very stark about that past. And I'm going to scream it again, 2014. What was going on? Um, because this is not going to be the same thing. Like if, if it's like if you had a bad relationship experience, um, what needs to change, right? Like if it didn't work the last time, what the hell makes you think it's going to work this time? If it's governed, spirit governed only by you, you don't get to govern another person's life path. You work together, you allow the flow to happen. You put in the work together and you cultivate. Um, very interesting energy here. The, you know, technology is new, Spirit is saying. Like, if you think about it, like, back in what was it? You know, we had Atari and things. That was like late 80s or whatever it was. But I think about in my lifetime um, that how much technology has changed in just 20 years. And we have to constantly innovate to to, you know, compete with the thing before, right? We're competing with that technology before. We want to make that technology better. We want to make the communication better. We want things to be more convenient, right? Um, but sometimes competing with that past and not seeing a new vision, like the only vision we hold is the thing from the past that we're not seeing a new way forward. Um, it's like the idea of, I don't know, maybe I'm going to give somebody a multi-million dollar idea right now. Um, we have spent many, many years evolving cell phones, right? They're like mini computers now. Um, what if they turned it into some other kind of gadget? You know, what we say like watches, right? The Apple Watch. Um, it does everything that your phone does in a lot of ways. Um, it's, it's the need to be innovative, that it doesn't have to be in a cell phone form. Maybe it's in a watch form. Maybe it's in a, I don't know, a necklace form. I, I, what the hell? Who knows, right? Um, but it's the need to innovate something here. Um, I just said about convenience. There it is. It's not always going to be convenient, Sagittarius. You're going to have to put in the work. Um, oath. What is this oath about, for Sag? Temple, spiritual practices, meditation, reflection, spiritual guide. Listen, some of you could be getting an attitude adjustment from somebody around you gym there's the work right you go to the gym you go to the gym to put it you have to put in the work to see the results of the gym right you can't just go to the gym walk on the treadmill for five minutes and go well i got my cardio in and i use my muscles good enough like you have to endure you have to strengthen this forward focus that you're going this is this is training this is this that last time around was training this was to show you what you're capable of, what you're deserving of. Um, this oath is, it is a promise. It is a faith. It is, it too is endurance, Spirit is saying. Um, the temple coming out and then <laughs> silver screen theater, movie night, film festival. This to me Sag, I'm going to tell you something. You could be... You're coming out of that dark place and into the light. Um, since 2014, which is a long time, right? That's 10 years. There are probably situations, without a doubt, that have brought you to your knees. And now you're starting to rise. But you have got to let go of 
competing with the past. Um, you may be realizing too, and I've said this to you for a while, about a dark night of the soul energy. There are moments in that, Sag, that we pray, we have realizations, we have epiphanies. Um, Spirit is saying we come to know ourselves. And at that point, we have to make a promise to never do like we've done before. When we're coming out of that lower vibrational energy, that we're going to find calmness and stillness within to watch life unfold. It's okay to be a part of your life and be the observer to how life is changing. Um, there's, there's so much energy with this reading. I don't even know how to explain it. Um, 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 right? You're coming out of the fog. Sag. And I'm going to tell you, this temple to me is somebody leading the way. Someone is, is has shown you how to reflect. Some of you are embracing that reflection. Others of you, you're, you're fighting it and you're fighting it hard. Um, some of you would rather sit back and watch the past. Others of you are focused on the future. Um, and I'm going to tell you, Sag, in the next eight months specifically, things are going to really change for you. Um, the high priestess in the reverse. There, There is a massive... I mean, the high priestess with the temple, that's some pretty powerful fucking awakening energy. If you've had five of cups, the judgment, the page of cups. So this is taking you out of a place of loss. Spirit saying, if you allow it. And showing you what love is. I'm hearing, what was, who sang that song? Um, I, he said, I want to know what love is. I want you to show me. Is that Paul something I think that's saying that I can't remember? Again, 80s. There we go. We're going back for a hot second. Um, you may be healing or needing to heal something around the heart space. And through this love, this whatever this is, and this doesn't have to be romantic, um, it's a feeling. You're being shown something very specific in, in trust and in faith. And again, some of you are going to take this and tiptoe through it and try to get through it. And I think you, you, you will succeed in due time. Others of you, you're shutting it down. You just keep looking back, looking back. It, this is unhealed. This is like PTSD. This is reliving traumas. This is really reliving pain without relieving it. Spirit is saying... Um, but someone has come in and has made a judgment call and Sag, maybe this judgment call is you, you know, um, offering some kind of love in a situation and taking action towards that with that ace of wands. That's potential. You know, it's, it's all an ace is, I would say it's just right because it's a signif signifier of new beginnings, but it only holds potential. You have to nurture that. Um, what is this cinema about for Sag? The Six of Swords, the Chariot, the Moon. Um, you know, the cinema, right? When you go to uh, a cinema to sit down and watch a movie for the first time, it's usually the first time you, you're viewing it, right? Um, you don't know what's going to happen. You're, you're in your seat watching this take place in suspense sometimes. Ooh, what happens next? You're enthralled, you're invested. Ooh, what, what's coming? That Six of Swords in the Chariot is saying it's okay for you to move on. You've earned the right to move on. You have to let yourself move on. And I think there's something or somebody around you, and this could just be in the spirit form, 
showing you that you are going to walk into a level of unknown. You are going to have to take a risk to give yourself the space to move on and move forward. Six to the seven is progression. It is the rite of passage. It is to go on. You know, like the, the thing with this is like she's being guided. And I'm telling you, you've got guidance around you. You've got somebody who is trying to show you the way. They are trying to lead you to, to safety, lead you to, Spirit is saying solidarity. So that you can look at yourself. So you can work with yourself all the while being supported are you holding on to that support and grasping onto it and being thankful for it are you scared are you fearful of the unknown because it's like you're trying to this queen of pentacles is like setting the example for that eight of eight of pentacles like this is what you can have this is where you are but you have to put the work in there's a lot around needing to put the work in um, Page of Pentacles, they're making that offer to you to show you the way. And as I say that, there's the Hermit. What does he do? He lights his lantern, shows you the way. Three of Pentacles, it's, it's to work together. Um, you have to work with people that want to work with you. If you were in a partnership in the past, and P.S., there's Scorpio, Death card, right? Transformation, transforming this energy. Um, if you were in a partnership before where you were the one who was giving all and doing all and seeing all, and that other person didn't do shit, um, that dynamic doesn't work. You know this now, right? You know this does not work. Um, you have to do it differently. Maybe, you know, you were very loving and kind. They never gave, as an example. This new relationship will say, they give, they show support, they're loving, they don't overcrowd uh, that word coming in. But there's a fear there because you've been wounded before. Again, a handful of you. Compa don't compete. Compare. What it was like the last time in a situation. What it's like this time in a situation. Who are you dealing with? What is different? There's always going to spirit. There's always going to be a red flag to show you the difference. There's always going to be a flag that's being waved, going. This is what this situation was and did. This is what this is showing you. They're, they're different. Like, I, I'm going to put it in the sense of like a heterosexual relationship that men are men, women are women in a heterosexual relationship. You're, if you're a man who enjoys that of a woman, every woman is going to be a woman if that's what you're interested in, but all women are different, right? You can't just say this person is the same as that person because they have one commonality. They're still their own unique individual. I don't know why I want to say that to you like that, but that's the way that it's coming through. Okay. All right. Sag. What else does Sag need to know, Spirit? It's like the dark night of the soul. The saga continues here for you, Sag. Power of presence. A power struggle. There's that competition. Unlock your potential and authenticity. Look, you are burning away something here. I told you that inflamed energy, energy medicine, sensuality, devotion, celestial fertility, deep rest. You are going through this detoxification energy. Mind, body, and spirit here, Sag. Um, he is a warrior and he's powering through in that eagle. It's representation also of the phoenix, right? They rise from the ashes. They stand in, in their authentic self you have potential but if you continue to struggle with power a competitive dynamic you're going to lose every time and, and I say it like that because you're competing with a ghost of the past you're not competing with um, you know it's like if you did 10 sit-ups yesterday today compete with yesterday in that sense do 15 but you can't compete on an emotional level you can't compete. You know, it's like maybe the person you're now with, like you're holding them in competition with the person of the past or vice versa. I, I hope that's making sense. This, this message is very uh, difficult to deliver. I don't know how else to say that. 
Um, it, it, it's different. It's very different. But Sag, this has to do with you. It's time and break free. Break free of that past energy. Um, it, it's time to let that go to unlock your potential for this innovation that is required of you right now. Advice for Sag. Jump in. Don't hold yourself back back, bleh, back out of fear. Look, jump in, manifest. You've manifested this. Have faith and align because the resolution here is that if you bring forward what you don't want and make your future life com compete with that past, you're going to carry that baggage into the future of whatever you're doing, whether it's a job, a relationship, yourself. Um, you can't break free of the past if you continue to bring it along. Like, let it be dead. It's time. Presence is, is being in the here and the now. Give to it rather than giving to the past and giving it, like, strength to continue to grow. It's, it's going to hold you back. Sag, I, I'm just going to leave this here. Um, I'm going to try to get you out another video in about two weeks, but there's something around that. Give it two weeks, two weeks, two weeks. The energy is uh, very much you right now. I don't know how else to put that. Very much you. Um, stop competing with the past. Don't expect the things in your life right now to compete with that past. So think about how that resonates for you. Resolve yourself to that, and then we will pick up from there in a couple of weeks. All right, Sag, I'm again, leaving it there. Um, sending you guys a ton of love. Thank you. I hope this video helped. Thank you for the likes, shares, subscribes, comments. Mwah, I appreciate you. Personal reads are open and available. That information is found in the description box below and the About section of the page. Take care of yourself. Sending you so much love. I'll see you soon. Bye.